Spirit of infirmity, 18 minutes, and was bound together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from this thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered him with indignation because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath. And he said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to, to, to walk. In them therefore come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath. The Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite, doth not each one of you on the Sabbath lose his ox or his eyes from the storm and lead him away for watering? And lo, not this woman be the daughter of Abraham, whom Satan had bound low. These seven years, eighteen years, hmm. the loose from this born on a summer day. Now we see a woman here that was bound by the devil for eighteen years. Eighteen long years. She was in the same season. Bow down. Her head is moving, like, moving, you know. You don't see the song. 18 years in the same state of life. 18 years in the same condition. And she was a worshiper. And her life can be in the church. But in the same season. The same story. Winter, summer, autumn, spring. The same season for you. Hello? Ask somebody, how can you be feeling cold in summer? I saw a man wearing jacket, heavy jacket, what? How can you be feeling? So your, your winter has not expired. I don't know, anybody here feeling cold in summer? Okay, one person at least, I'm not with my If you feel cold in summer, I'm not so. Okay. So you carry winter, I'm not. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. So we see a woman here. Her story has not changed for 18 years. She was a worshiper in the same season. She was bowed down. Number one, she was what? Bowed down. Number two, she was bound by who? The devil. The same devil banner for many years. 18 years in the same condition state. The same season. When Jesus entered that church that day, Jesus saw her and said, Woman, your season has changed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Say that by the name of Jesus. Yeah. I confess to you. Yeah. I declare to you. Yeah. I announce to you. Yeah. Your season must change because you are in this place. By the anointing in this house, your season must change. The same story. <laughs> Women, thou art loose. Ooh. Hallelujah. Yeah. And then listen, I thought they would be jumping and, and singing the church that day. There were physical demons called Pharisees that were very offended. Why did you help her out of this? <coughs> but, Say the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. My season was changed. Season. And this man jumped out of there being to glorify God, thanking God, blessing God, because she stepped into a new season in her life. Amen. I am now to somebody, you are entering a new season. Yes. It's a new season. Yes. Joy unspeakable. Yes. A new season yes. of breakthroughs. Yes. A new season yes. of testimonies. Yes. A new season yes. of open doors. Yes. A new season. Yes. 
I said it last Sunday. There's a woman I met on the street. She was homeless. I met her on the street. I ministered to her. Last Sunday I came to church as I opened, I think last Sunday I gave it this morning. As I opened the door, there was a check under the, under the church from her. Under the door. I said, Patricia, what happened? He said, God has been good. God said, God has been good. God helped me out. I found a savior. I found a man, took me into an house free to take care of our cows. They are so wealthy. They are just paying me. And they paid all my debts. She owed for that 70,000 debts. They paid, canceled and paid all her debts. Amen. They paid all her debts and just bless her. She now went to Israel. I'm flying to Israel in you know end of summer. My life has changed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I must experience my American dream. Oh my God, tell us in the name of Jesus. I must experience my Holy Ghost dream. I must experience my American dream. In the name of Jesus, I cannot be in the promised land and die in captivity. I cannot be in the promised land and die in captivity. If you don't get bread to America, where will you get breakthrough? Mm. Now let's test the fact, okay? If things are so hard for you in America, where will you get that? <laughs> now let's test okay? If you cannot pay your rates in America, where will you be better? <laughs> Say the name of Jesus! I declare a new season, a new season by the Holy Spirit. Number two, the prodigal son changed his season with my will. Luke 15, verse 18. Number two, or B. Now, Luke 15, 18. Are you there? It says, What? And I, are you there? Luke 15, 18. And I will arise and go to my father and say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That changed him. This was a boy that was so privileged because of wrong vision. Say wrong vision. Wrong vision. He fell from glory. He fell from glory. Amen. This was a young boy, are you there following me? Yes. Living in the father's house, living well, and they don't appreciate the blessing around him. Say, this is not uh, actually in See, change the season. Yes. From glory to shame. From glory to shame. Glory to shame. Have you seen somebody like that before? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. You know, yesterday I was on Facebook, I was so ashamed. The lady I knew as a prophetess. I didn't pray she would have somewhere in the world. She was saying, I, I am in, is it Bambanos somewhere in the South America? I catch a big fish. I caught a one. I caught a bee. You know what fish? You know the big fish? He's not, he's not fishing, oh. A big prostitute man. I caught what? The big fish. And people, people commenting, say, Prophet, say, Prophet, shame on you. Shape on you. I mean, the people are committing shape on you. Guys, yeah. imagine, imagine a Christian falling from glory. You would change your season negatively. You used to be celebrated in church, love and happy, but something I'm thinking backward, backward, backward. But you find yourself into a season that you hate. That people look you and say, "He cannot." Say, "He cannot." You know what I mean? So he can He can Hey, how can you? How can you son in a, in a, a blessed family? A blessed home. And you now force yourself into a wrong season. Hello? Hi. A wrong season. He lost. He lost everything. Now you were selling friends. When I came to this country, I used to be. I came here which. <laughs> I've enjoyed life in this country. <laughs> Things have been good for me. I used to, I used to live in that hotel. I used to live in that hotel. I used to live. 
Then somebody said, what have I? Wait, are you, what, what do you do now? Well, I'm sharing a room with, with pigs. <laughs> I'm sharing a room with what? With pigs. Are you here this morning? Hello, church. Say the name of Jesus. I've come to my senses. I know my error. I repent of my sin. I am going back to my father's house. I must change my sin for good. So this boy decided to do what I must arise and go back. He changed his season from a fallen man, a deprived man is saying, lost everything to a place of glory. Hallelujah. When they came back home, it's a new season. New glory. New garment. New authority. New honor. New celebration. Now, when they stepped back home, the father embraced him. I said, now you are qualified to manage my business. You know why? I was in a business meeting and um, I, I did a very professional course on crisis management with senior managers. And we're dealing on good managers. Hello? Hi. Better get the manager who have tried before and failed. Amen. Hello? The best managers are those who have done what? Tried before and failed. Because they will do all to succeed. You do what? Oh. Yeah. So, so this young man, this young man came back home. This, this elder brother who had been here, very careful to make errors. Father said, "You have no experience. You have no what? This young boy had seen hell and heaven and come back. He will manage my business and gave him the ring, the signet ring." For the company, the seal for the company, so you are now in charge. It's a new season. Say the book has I speak into your life. I speak into your life. I provoke you this morning to press on to a new season in your life. Say a new season in your life. No matter the challenges. Now listen, the prodigal son had four seasons. How many seasons? The first one, he was a beloved son, the Benjamin of the house. No Benjamin, no son. The last boys that always been blessed. Great, and got everything. And one day he said, Father, I'm going out of here. He went into his second season. He took all his wealth, and he was wealthy without wisdom, and squandered everything. The third season was when he saw fire. <laughs> so fire. After you look at Job, a Jewish man working with pigs. My God, that was the worst one. He had no other option. He said the fourth season. He said the fourth season. You know, no matter how many mistakes you have made in your life, there's always a chance. Amen. Say them all. As long as you are alive, you have the potential to succeed. See the body, see the body, 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 body. As long as you are alive, you have the potential to start again and to make it great. So the boy said, Hey, no matter what happened to my life, I must repent. I'm going back to my father and I'll make it. Say, for season. And his life change. Can you tell yourself, say the name of Jesus? I must change my sin. He must decide to change your sin. One day, Elijah went to King Ahab and said, I am changing the season today. No more rain. Did it work? Yes. How many years? Yes. Three years drought. Yes. Hello? Hi. After three and a half years, he went on his knees again. He 
said today, season must change. Amen. Tell them what today. Amen. Season must change. Season must change. Season must change. Not, by God, Not by God. By me. By me. <laughs> what did he do? When on his knees in prayer. Lord, rise. Lord, send rain. This door must open one day, two days, seven times. Why? To change the season, it takes warfare. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I believe you, my God. This door must open. This enemy must die. You know, you must because you must take some stand to say what well, this door must open. This enemy behind my company must die. This agent must not succeed. Elijah prayed and prayed and prayed and finally there was a, cl a cloud and there was rain. It's a new season. Hallelujah. The question is, are you willing to pay the price to change your season? Are you willing? But some people complain, say, see me, I used to be, see, no, no, no. Complain will not help you. But that's what I said, I must arise. So our conference begins tomorrow. We have a lineup of men. We have two messages every evening. We start 7 p.m. to 7.35, praise and worship. 7.45 to 8.30, the first teaching. Call it offering until 9. The 9 to 10 is the will be in the miracle service. Amen. 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 To get teaching and miracle service. Amen. To push us into a new season. Hallelujah. Amen. The third person this morning, please. Um, let's see. That change is season. Okay. Now, we see this woman here. There is this woman. I love this woman. Mark 5, 26 to 29. You know the story, not so. For 12 years, 12 years. 12 years, she has struggled, struggled, and struggled, and struggled. She was a curse in society. One day, uh, now see what he said. A certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years, and has suffered many things of many physicians, and has spent all that she had, and was, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she heard that head of Jesus came to the press behind and touched his garment. Now listen. For she said, are you there? If, say if, I may touch with his cloth, I shall be made whole. It was not by chance. Oh. This man was not caused by Jesus. She came there, say, this is a chance to change my system. Hallelujah. Amen. So I have much opportunity today. I have my opportunity. To see Jesus. Hallelujah. If I can only succeed to touch his garment. She was determined to change the circle of events. Hallelujah. Amen. Now she got to praise into the crowd. If the culture before the miracle she is dead. Take note. See the culture before the miracle of her. She's dead. Why? She was unclean. Unclean woman cannot be in the crowd. So she was doing life or death situation. If I can only touch him through this crowd, and she was so determined, if I may only touch him, and she took a step, I must touch. This thing was so. This thing was so. This thing was so. I don't know how long it took her going through the crowd with a vision. So going through the crowd with a vision, with a determination, with a purpose. Hallelujah. And finally, grab on his garment. Hallelujah. Take my season. Must change for good. And invest this commission. And invest this situation. And invest this time. Say never. Never. You are not called to persevere. You are not called to persevere. 
you are called to believe for a change. Say, neighbor, don't seek anointing or perseverance. Seek anointing to change a season. Listen again, say, neighbor, don't seek anointing or perseverance. Seek the anointing to change the season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How long will you keep on persevering in the same situation? So I receive the anointing to reverse the situation in my life. I receive the anointing to change this condition. Now, wherever you find yourself in the world, there are still things to change. We live in the U.S. Amen. You know the people here that give you offer the presidency, they cannot accept. And they cannot accept. Because you grow older than your age. You die before time. Too much stress. Insecurity. And after their, their term of office, we have thousands of regrets. Things I could have done. Things I was not able to do. They wish they always have a wish for a season to change. You know? So I don't know where you find yourself this morning. Hello? Hi. So the key is in your hand. The key is in my hand. The key is in your hand. Jesus said, Peter, behold, I give you the key. Hallelujah. So I have the key to change my season. Now, have you gone to the house somewhere? During winter and it's very cold. Any person have been to the house? Yes. You know why? No, that is not heat in the house. You don't have to pay bills. You don't have to pay bills. So you are persevering in a cold situation because you want to put heat on. It's not a blame of the landlord, it's just blame. So don't tell God that. On Judgment Day, Satan will say, don't accuse me. You have a will. Hallelujah. Amen. Take up, take up and say the name of Jesus. Amen. Like this woman, I challenge my blood, my spirit, my soul to press on in the name of Jesus. I challenge myself to press on until this I don't know what that this is in your life. But something must change to make you a happier person. Something must change to make you more effective in the ministry. Something must change to make you more available in life. Something must change to make you more effective in life. Something must change to make you enjoy life. Hallelujah. Now let's go to the next person, please. And then we have maybe two or two more. Help us, okay? Let's see the next case, and then we. Hallelujah. Now, blind, the blind Martinians. Now it says, it says, um, that is, that is, um, Mark ten forty six. And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, a great multitude of people, blind Martinians, son of Timius, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, Hallelujah! Amen. What did he do? Did he begin to continue to beg? To beg? No. He said, "Begging season must end, oh, not no more." He said, "Please, be, you know, clients, wait." <laughs> now, hello. That was a chance to beg, but there was a multitude of people who can give you one cent. And he said, "This season of begging must be what." Hallelujah. It is the oh please. I am blind. Drop something in my place. Hello? He said, hey, son of David. The season must change. Was 
men just shouting to say, please drop some coins in my plate. I am blind. He said, no, this profession is ending today. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There's a cry that will change your life. Say that whatever there's a cry that that will change your life. Hallelujah. Shout, son of David. This must change. I don't know why you are here this morning. You find yourself engaging disappointment, engaging and disappointment. It's like you are seasoned. So any man come before you, you are not taking serious. Because you know how you will end. But I hear this morning, I was sharing until yesterday. Say never. never. I don't want people to like me. I don't want people to like me. I want people to love me. What do you like, sister Jenny? What do you like? You want people to like you or to love you? Just love you. Let me tell you something about friendly. There was this young boy and girl in church. And this boy, you know, was a friend to this girl. In church, you know, church, you know. Okay. If the boy has a problem, he'll call the girl. The guy has a problem, call the girl. And they were two years, boy doing things together, you know. And the boy is hungry, comes away. The girl says. After two years, the boy just came and said, Hey, Susan, I have good news. And the girl said, Let's go. Today, maybe it's a question, you know? It's a man, where did God? The girl said, oh, what? So, for all these two years, he did not love me. He said, we are friends. I, I like you, you know, I like you. But I don't love you. Take the name of Jesus. Don't like me, love me. I don't know why I hear you right now. This is how people like your ways, they like your praise, they like your food. They like your attire, but they don't love you. So when they, when they, they use you and you expire, and they now go to the person they love. <laughs> Take the name of Jesus. Name of My season has changed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So I refuse to be used by people. I so I refuse to be used by people. Take the name of Jesus. Amen. I am not a ladder for others to climb and succeed. In the name of Jesus, I am not a step for others to climb to their promotion. Say in the name of Jesus, I am a human being, saved by God. I am loved by God. In the name of Jesus, you have the power to change your season and stop some things. Hallelujah. Amen. So blind Bartimaeus did not say, well, I'm a beggar, give me some coins. He said what? And Christ, now let's see the last verse there. That is um, Luke. I'm at Mark 14, uh, 50, 50, 52. Yes. Yes. To everything there is a season. To everything there is a season. And the time to every purpose under the heaven. Underline the word season, underline the word purpose. Amen. You cannot change your present season until you pursue the purpose. Amen. Amen. Say the Amen. The purpose is a man who stay long in the same season. Just tell me, people live in America here, like I have asked, just I have a neighbor, he have lived in the same apartment for 20 years. Now he look funny. I don't know how he succeeded. In the same world, how many years? 20 years. And he said, I'm the longest man in this <laughs> When I came here, he's very happy. It's, it's, it's poverty. Real poverty. How do you feel about yourself if you don't progress? Your children don't progress. You find yourself in the same story. Your spiritual life, your vaccine. No time to pray. No time for Bible studies. No time. You are not changing for good. You are changing. It's like a new year takes you into new hardship. So stop this in Jesus' name. You must begin to say, this is my purpose. A purpose is a well-defined plan. Hallelujah. Amen. This is what I must attend to. No matter any devil or demons or whatever, 
I am not waiting on people to choose my destiny. Amen. I press on for my destiny. Amen. Don't blame the system, blame yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't blame what? Blame yourself. You must challenge yourself that if Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego succeeded in Babylon, I can succeed in America. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, my season must change. The question is, what do you want that genius? And the man said that my eyes and can't say what? Receive it. I made it. Hallelujah. Let me show one more case to that will end this morning. Amen. And that is not there. It's Genesis 32, 24 to 29. I like to consume the first place. Genesis 32, 24 to 29. How does it end with that case? Say, I've decided to step into a new season. Now listen. Hallelujah. That's 32. Hello? But did you hear with seasons that affect your social life, your spiritual life, your Christian life, your financial life, your prayer life? Something must change. How many this? Amen. Amen. Because I've seen so many Christians that are not happy. They're not satisfied. They are sick. They are weary. They are, they are not, they are, you know, they're just pulling it day by day. That is not God's will for you. Hallelujah. Amen. I preached in the church in Cameroon. I said, Pastors, Pastors Conference, if you pastors cannot be blessed, how can your church be blessed? If you are in debt, I don't owe anybody in my life. I've never borrowed for 30 years. I don't borrow, even. I don't build church projects and loans. We build a church in Cameroon, cash. We don't take a loan in any bank. We don't, I don't believe in borrowing. I believe in hard work. I write my books, the bank. Yes. Silly, I write many good books, and my books are silly. I write books, I, I, I'm working hard. Yeah. Amen. 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 I hope you read two books, one is already, I just finished a new book now. This is going, I submitted it yesterday to, to my editor. Lord, use me. Amen. I'm already in another, another one again on the fifth chapter, Walking with your Angel. Amen. Hello? Amen. I'm already working hard. Amen. Now, somebody said, Working hard is not going to work every day. Say that working hard is not going to work every day. It's the purpose of you going to work. Hey, hey, hey. That's another one. This one? That's it. At the end of the month, what are you doing? You cannot level at the end of the month without a purpose. It takes more to start your life than that. You keep on in a circle. You need to find out. What am I pressing on for? Amen. Amen. Now, Genesis 32 from 24 or so. Genesis chapter 32, reading from 24. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with, the, with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou... Okay. And Jacob... Oh, that's the Tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? 
and he blessed him. Amen. Amen. And he did what? He him. Now, close the Bible, please. Let me just talk to you five minutes. Okay? Close the Bible. Go, go, go this way. Hallelujah. Sunny time. Sunny time alone. I need time alone. What time? To think. To think. To think. Thinking is a big blessing. Yes. This world is governed by thinkers, not by warriors. Thinking is not worries. You think for inspiration. You think for wisdom. You think for ideas. You think for answers. And as long as you don't think, <laughs> you die like the flower. <laughs> <laughs> because imagine a hen, a man who has not given you food for one week is throwing you so much corn in the morning. Like that. You cannot think that that corn has a trap behind it. <laughs> you understand? Know? More days to fly, the man to give you food. The man goes in the morning and throws you so much. That's what I'm It's called like this. <laughs> Questionable. <laughs> and they will follow the corn into a trap and the hen will go. <laughs> So Jacob was left alone. Hallelujah. Say that for time alone. I realize that most of you don't have time alone at all. You need time alone, sister Elizabeth, you know. Take time alone after work. Sit by a river somewhere, or by a stream. Go to Sunny Sunny Beach or somewhere. Sit somewhere, a man, in the balcony alone. You're not praying. You're not reading Bible. Just allow yourself to think. That's a self question. Why? Amen. When he was left alone, suddenly a man, say a man, came to attack him. What? Hello? Say when angels attack men. Angels attack men. That's interesting. A piece of the world. The man in the world came to wrestle with him. And Jacob said, Thank God I'm alone here. You know, life or death. Jacob said, Today and today. If you don't come like a, come like a man, that's a good thing. To, to help this man. The man wrestled the whole night. Say, Devil, how long can you wrestle? So that's my point this morning. Because some of you wrestle for one hour and give up. Two hours. Say, Bishop, it's too long. How long were you able to wrestle for that vision? The angel said, okay, enough is enough, let me go. He said, no way. He started the fight until you bless me. Say, no, how long will you wrestle? Some of you are not willing to wrestle at all. Once you drive one hour, give up. Two hours, give up. You are soon to give up the fight. Say, no. I will fight this case until I see the end. Until I get my blessing out of this. Next day, Mandela did not give up on the way. He fought until the end. So don't just give up because of one, two, three, no, no. Say in the name of Jesus. I follow what Jacob did. So Jacob wrestled the whole night and what happened now? Let me go. You will not, I will not let you go to work until, until you bless me. Until my name is changed. Until my season has changed. Jacob pressed on until he bless him. Don't give up until your season changes. And then he got a new name called what? Israel. Now you have the nation of what? Israel. 2013, 14, 15. Israel is 2000 new day. This is a couple of men. Last year, discovered a well of oil in Israel. Oil, if you need to get oil from Egypt, but now Israel has to import oil, export oil to Egypt. They discovered what? Fruit oil in Israel. Number two, just this week ago, Israel discovered a system to use snow to transform snow into water for life. Amen. So the desert is being transformed with water from snow. Snow is no more dissolved and wasted. 
we preserve it and transform it for next summer. So get that up, Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So snow is now used during summer. All the green vegetation, the gardens are growing everywhere. That's the word. Snow. Hey. So my season has changed. I need to this morning to leave this place. As a good thing can say, my season has changed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me end with this, okay? Amen. Amen. I watch, uh, there's a TV program called Makeover. Something like that. Everybody watch it? Yes. So, Jenny, tell us about Makeover. What do you say there? Makeover is more about. Can you give me a mic, please? Somebody give me a mic. Go in there. Give me a mic. Give me a mic. It's the same makeover we're talking about. This is a program where uh, women, mostly they do with women, that have worked themselves until they forgot themselves. They have they, worked themselves until they do what? Yes. So sometimes a family member might just want to make a change and call upon the makeover program and surprisingly, they pick her up wherever she is or wherever she's working and show her the potential she carries. Mm -hmm. I do what? By changing yeah. physically her dress. Tell us how to yes. They start from your hair, your makeup, and everything. Your Don't do a holy hair. From the hair, all you do with the hair. They take you wear. <laughs> the so the surprise you have from your job pick you to wear. Yes, I will. Fix you your hair. Fix your face, fix your jewels. Do it for shopping, change your outlook, everything about you. Then they bring you back now to your house. Surprise. Total new person. Bring the two pictures before and after. Before and after. Say them all. This is your season of people. Hallelujah. Let me hand and give the Lord glory. Yeah. 
we are in any service, it's a changed life. You cannot be glorified until you are sanctified. Amen. You cannot enter into the glory of this message this week until you are born again. If you are here this morning, you want to receive Christ as our Lord and Savior. Put your hand right on place. That's the beginning. You cannot skip that step. What's your life? You want to be born again this morning. You want to be, you want to receive Jesus as your Lord. You are still struggling in the world without Christ. Anybody here this morning want to be born again? I don't have Hallelujah. Everybody is sanctified. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah, the most sanctified. The preachers is saying they are all men that are, are not in there. They are all supplied the preachers. Which is the big, I'm starting to worry about it. Angela, they are all fine. Amen. Amen. Just pray for the release of glory. And we are stepping into a new glory, a new season, a change. And God should help you to come. Help your family to come. The battle must be won. Can't you see the signs in the world? And there is no hope. 